Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about what a computer program is anyway. We talked about input and output and input and output devices. But um, the question is, well, what does a programmer do, right? What does a software developer do every day? And the answer is, uh, well, might be kind of obvious. He or she is writing computer programs. But what is a computer program, you might ask? And um, the question is not silly at all. Um, I compare computer programs with cooking recipes at some point. You know, I try to to uh, make an analogies to, to everyday processes, everyday tools, everyday objects. And um, I think everybody um, has seen a cooking recipe or at least can can think of what it looks like. Um, what, what does it do? It lists each step that's necessary to produce a certain result, right? A, a certain meal to, to uh, prepare everything, all the ingredients, and um, you have to follow it step by step. Otherwise, uh, if you mix up the steps, you probably wouldn't get uh, the result that you that you were looking for, right? And a computer program is the same. It lists the instructions. It lists the steps that the computer, when it's, when it's executing the program, uh, is needed to take one by one, sequentially, right? Ordered. We start at the top, and then we, we do the next, and the next, and the next, um, and this is written in a language that the computer can understand. Um, there's different programming languages and um, there's a whole, I don't know, I, I would say a religion and uh, people have very strong feelings about which programming language is the best or at least the best for a certain um, application or a certain type of, of computer program. But we, we do not really bother ourselves with that right now. All that we need to know is that we need to write these instructions, this cooking recipe for a computer in a language that well, the computer can understand and um, then it can execute it step by step, execution, um, program, command by command um, in order to achieve the, the required result right, that we want. So when we are writing computer programs, we are basically translating the stuff that we want to happen when the com computer program is run um, into small segments, into little bits and pieces, into small blocks. And each block is such an, a statement, it's, just, it's a step in the recipe. And when the first step is executed and is done being executed, the second step is taken, the second block is being executed, and then the third and then the fourth and so on. And there are some exceptions to these rules, of course, and we're going to talk about them in, in, in later episodes. But it's important to understand that all a computer program is really is is uh, well it's a, a series of instructions that are um, executed one by one that's that's what a computer program is right a, a list of steps that's being executed step by step and if we talk about this input processing output stuff there are certain instructions that we can use at each step to get data in in our program and there are certain other instructions to process that data to modify that data I mean, the, the easiest example, and that's why everybody is thinking about math when they think about IT and, and, and programming, um, is to, I don't know, make some mathematical operations, like adding two numbers, right? That's, that's a sort of operation. That's a sort of processing step that can, that can take place. But um, we are not concerned, again, with the details right now. All that we know is there are certain instructions to take data in, certain instructions to process data, and certain uh, instructions to get data out again, to display it on the screen or transmit it over a network or send it to the printer, whatever it is. Input-output processing. And in a computer program, we are writing these instructions to the computer in a certain uh, order in order to achieve the result that we want. Okay, And another important thing is there's a distinction between writing the program, coding, writing these instructions, um, and that's separate from executing the program. If you think about it, um, again, the cooking recipe analogy, you only need to write this cooking recipe once, right? You, you write it in a big book, like my mother used to do it, or um, on a sheet of paper, paper or, or whatever. Um, but you write it once, and then you can exit many times. And if you follow the steps one by one, you will always have the same result. And that's the same with the computer program. You write it once, and then you can exit, uh, execute it many, many times. And if you get the same input into the program, you will always get the same output. Okay, so that's the difference between coding, writing the program, program and executing the program. And that's what a computer program is, in a nutshell.